All right, so I wanted to get into how to win an argument without getting emotional. The reason I want to go over this is because if you've ever been in an argument with someone, you can get frustrated because they don't see your point. And this actually makes the argument a lot harder to win because you're trying to persuade someone. And that's not the right way to win an argument. There's one of the 48 laws of power that says win through your actions, not through your words. And this is literally one way that you will have to win arguments, especially if you're in relationships or you're dealing with women. What I'm going to tell you works perfect. It's almost flawless victory. I call it the Mayweather strategy because it's like you can't lose if you do what I'm going to tell you to do. And especially when you're dealing with women. Because if you don't know, the more emotional you get around a woman, especially in an argument with her, in her eyes, you start to look a little bit more feminine. You start to seem less masculine to her. And in those cases, that woman also will lose respect for you through the way that you argue with her. And I'm going to tell you the way to handle that. First things first is just learn how to respond to their their point of view. And one quick response you can give is no matter what they say, whether you agree or not, just say, okay. And let them keep talking. They will continue sometimes to try to get their point across to you because this is how most people try to win arguments is they want to convince you of their side and then also get confirmation you agree when you say okay to whatever they're saying you got to make it sound convincing don't make it sound condescending just say okay and you can give a nod with it body language is good when you do that it kind of signals to them that they think you might agree. Even though you never said you did. And this will get them to shut up. Because that's technically what you want someone to do in an argument. Is not try to win it by convincing them. Because that's, that's the reason why you go back and forth so much. There's no convincing on either side if you want to actually end an argument and win it. Let them think you believe what they, what they think if you want to. I just say okay. And then they'll be surprised. It, it will deaden a lot of the momentum. Or say, I feel you. They're going to say, I think we should go here. Uh, okay. Now, I never said I agree. I just acknowledge I heard what they said. And then they have to ask me for clarification. Do you agree? No, I don't. But I, I hear what you're saying. And so you can be honest. You can be honest with it. And this shuts down a lot of arguments, even on social media, too, is just learning how to respond to things. I, I get somebody, uh, I could post something health and fitness related. And since there's so many ways to do things in health and fitness, someone will comment. But yeah, you might need to do this as well. Or this works also. Even if I don't agree, I'll just be like, oh, OK. And they have no other argument then because I'm not even arguing back with them. I'm just acknowledging that I saw their comment. And this is something you got to try. You can't do this emotional though. You got to you're going to have to <clears throat> eat that emotional bullet. Keep it inside, man, cuz it's not going to help you. The argument's going to last longer if you're emotional. Um so those that's two verbal ways to do it. You could say okay or you could tell them I feel you or oh okay, I, I understand what you're saying. Doesn't mean you agree, but you understand them. Now, as far as uh, physical things you can do if you're in a face-to-face -face argument with someone, uh, especially a woman or in a relationship, this is something you've seen before, probably done before, is yeah, you probably should just leave the situation. But when you leave, don't even, don't even act emotionally. Just, just leave and stay calm. And if they ask you questions about where you're leaving, why you're going, you just say, I'm, I'm just about to leave for a second. You you really, you can choose to explain or you don't have to. It's up to you and your situation. I would say do whatever you think is going to make you 
feel more safe because some people can get violent in situations. So you may have to answer um, in a way that you know the person won't try to hurt you, I guess. But yeah, even leaving a situation and then they could, they could call you and text you to blow your phone up. Don't answer. Don't respond. Don't do anything mean. I mean, don't do anything emotional. But yeah, actually being mean does help too. If you could be mean without being emotional, this teaches people a lesson. Which that's a whole nother video too, is being mean without being emotional teaches people a lesson. So that's what you really want to do is um, just disengage and let them just feel like they won. And that's actually how you win, believe it or not. It, it sounds counterintuitive, but I'm telling you right now, that's why your arguments last longer. That's why you can't convince anyone of your point of view because you think an argument is about convincing someone of your point of view. And you don't realize that sometimes you're never going to change someone's mind, no matter how logical you can explain it, no, how, no matter how much sense you can make out of it. It does not mean that someone's going to agree like that's like me saying, do I agree there are many ways to lose weight? Yes. However, do I agree that I should use intermittent fasting to lose weight? I'm going to say no, I don't agree, even though, yeah, that could work, but I just choose not to do it that way. You have to realize that everybody has their individualized brains. They're going to think the way they want to think, and you would be... Your your ego is basically killing you in arguments because you think for some reason your words are so powerful that you can just convince someone to believe what you believe just because what you believe makes more sense than anything else. And that's basically you not letting go of your ego. So there's a lot of lessons in this, this video here. I'm saying a lot of stuff, but the main keys, I'll just go over it again. How to win an argument without getting emotional is... Just respond. Your verbal responses matter. Like just saying, okay, or giving some type of confirmation that you heard or understand the person and leave it at that. They may continue to talk and you just go ahead and let them talk. Let them talk and you just confirm what they're saying. You never actually have to say that you agree to what they're saying. However, if they ask you, do you agree? You can explain, no, I don't, but I, I see what you're trying to say. And leave it at that. And you can also let them know. You can go even further with it too. You say, I don't agree. And I understand that we both may not agree on this subject. And that's fine. We we just won't agree. And that's, that's okay with me. So you could elaborate and keep it more open with the communication if you want to. I would say less is more in most situations unless you have to give more. There's, you have to figure that out for yourself when it's the right time to give more information. But less is more here. And I know that's the same. And this is also, like I said, this is something that's in the 48 Laws of Power. Not explained the way that I just explained it, but it just made me think about it while I started the video that that is one of the 48 Laws of Power. You may look into it yourself. It is when through your actions, not through your words. And this works a lot of times, especially in relationships, definitely in arguments. And this could even work in professional settings as well.